such a gown. I am not tall enough to fit the function well, nor lean enough to be thought a good student. But to be said, an honest man and a good housekeeper goes as fairly as to say a careful man and a great scholar. The petty enter. Do bless thee, Master Parson. On our dear Sir Toby, for as the old hermit of Prague that never saw a pen and ink, very wittily said, the niece of King Gorbaduck, that that is, is. So I being Master Parson, am Master Parson. For what is that but that? And is but is. Do him, Sir Tobus. What go I say? Peace in this prison. The knave counterfeits well. A good day. Who calls them? So to pass the curate, who comes to speak with Melvario the lunatic. Sir Thomas, Sir Thomas. Good Sir Thomas, go to my lady. Oh, typophonical fiend! How vexest thou this man? Talkest thou nothing but of ladies? Well said, Master Parson. Sir Thomas, do not think me mad. Never was a man thus abused. They have kept me here in hideous Aye, darkness. Ay, thou dishonest Satan! I call thee by the most modest ones, for I am one of those modest ones that will use the devil himself with courtesy. <laughs> Sayest thou that house is dark? As hell, Sir Popus! Why, it hath bay windows, as transparent as barricados, and the celestries towards South North are as lustrous as ebony, and yet Complainest thou of obstruction? I am not mad, Sir Topus. I say to you, this house is dark. Madman, thou errest. I say, there is no darkness, but ignorance, in which thou art more puzzled than the Egyptians in their fog. I say, then, that there is no darkness but ignorance. But ignorance is as dark as hell. And I say, never was a man thus abused. Sir Topus, I am as well in my wits as you are. Make the trial of it on any constant question. Hmm. What is the opinion of Pythagoras concerning wild fowl? <laughs> <laughs> that the soul of our grandam might happily inhabit a bird. What thinkest thou of his opinion? I think nobly of the soul, and in no way approve his position. Fare thee well. Remain thou in darkness. Thou shalt hold the opinion of Pythagoras, ere I will allow thy wits, and fear to kill a woodcock, lest I dispossess the soul of thou, Grandam. Anywhere. Uh, Sir Topus. Sir Topus! My most exquisite Sir Topus. Nay, I am for all wars. Oh, thou might have done that, but the beard and gown, he sees thee not. I do him in thine own voice, and bring me word how thou finds thee. Uh, if he may be conveniently delivered, nah, I would he were, for I am now so far in offense with my niece that I cannot pursue this sport with any safety. This sport be upshot. Come by and by to my chamber. Hey, Rod, the jolly Rod, and tell me how thy lady does. Fool! My lady is unkind, Purdy. Fool! Alas, why is she so? Fool, I say! She loves another who calls her! Good fool, as ever wilt thou deserve well by my hand, help me to a candle, an ink, pen, and paper. As I am a gentleman, I'll live to be thankful to thee for it. Master Malvolio? Aye, good fool. Alas, sir, how fell you beside your five wits? Uh, fool, do not think me mad. I am as well in my wits as you are. But as well? 
Then you are mad indeed if you be no better in your wits than a fool. They have propertied me here, keep me in hideous darkness, send ministers to me, asses, and all that they can to face me out of my wits. Advise what you say, the minister is here. Malvolium, Malvolium, <laughs> thy wits the heavens restore. Endeavour thyself to sleep, and leave thy vain bibble babble. Sir Topas? Maintain no words with him, good fellow. Who I, sir? Not I, sir. God buy you good, Sir Topas. <laughs> Marry, amen. I will, sir, I will. Fool! Fool! Fool, I say! Alas, sir, be patient. What say you, sir? I am shed for talking to you. Good fool, help me to a candle, ink, and paper. I am as well in my wits as any man in Illyria. Well a day that you were, sir. By this hand, I am! Oh, fool, a candle, ink, and paper, and convey what I will set down to my lady. Oh, it will advantage you more than ever the bearing of letter did. I will bring it to you, but tell me true, are you not mad indeed, or do you but counterfeit? Believe me, I am not. I tell thee true. Nay, I'll ne'er believe a madman till I see his brains. <laughs> I will fetch you light and paper and ink. Oh, good fool, I'll requite it in the highest. I pray thee, be gone. <laughs>